And thank you for staying with us. Well, the CUNY Language Immersion Program, better known as an intensive English as a second language program for CUNY students who need to improve their academic language skills. CLIP is a content-based program where students learn English by studying topics in American history, literature, environmental studies, and more. And the question is, how has the organization adapted its services, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, joining us to share a little bit more is the Associate Director of the CUNY Language Immersion Program at Bronx Community College. We've got Jason Davis, and then also the International Wealth Advisor at Merrill Lynch Bank of America, Liz Rosado. And we thank you both for joining us here on OPEN. Thank you very much for having us today. Thank you, good morning. And as you mentioned, yes, it has been a little challenging uh, working online uh, using um, the different platforms during the uh, COVID pandemic. But we are Zooming in with our students daily. Uh, students work on Zoom and they work on the same curriculum-based curricula that they would do, use during the regular semester. The instructors have used the breakout room so that students can work on group in groups. They've also been able to do their um, independent projects on Zoom and they've done PowerPoint presentations and worked in literary um, circles, literacy circles. And so they have been doing uh, very well on Zoom. They submit their assignments um, also online and their essays are looked at um, with comments and sent back to the students and then they upload it again to the faculty member. Mm -hmm. Lewis, so, talk a little bit about your involvement with the program. Yes, thank you. Um, I was a student at the program uh, a few years ago and um, for me, the transition from being into the not having the tools to start college itself uh, guided me to go into the program. And basically, I did a few semesters, and what it helped me the most was the transition uh, from going into just getting my having certain words in the language to going to uh, being able to read and, and write coherently than to go into a college life. The fact that the program is on campus and also allows you to start the transition into um, the environment, the school environment. So it's been, it's been a, a great um, journey and obviously starting there was actually great for me, so. Yeah, and Jason, talk a little bit about this because I believe if I'm correct, students actually spend about 25 hours a week in the program. Walk us through exactly what they get as they participate in CLIP. Thank you very much. So actually it's 25 content hours per week. We have a morning session that's from nine to three and an evening session that's from five to 10. And during those uh, five hours per day, students do work on reading, writing, speaking and listening. But since it is a college preparatory program, the large focus is on the writing and on the reading. So they do a lot of reading, vocabulary development, they go over grammar um, at all the levels. And when we are on campus, we have one hour a day um, in the computer lab where they improve their technological skills and start working on research papers. Even at the lowest level, they are taught how to um, cite sources and collect information. Students did not have the technology at home. So uh, with the assistance of the college and the CUNY Central Office, we were able to get them laptops and Chromebooks. Students also needed assistance with getting Wi-Fi. And so we were able to do that as well. Now we do have um, lab technicians on staff and they have uh, zoomed in with students who needed to learn how to use the technology. Now, most of our students are very enthusiastic and eager. They wanna improve their language skills so that they can enroll in college and pursue their academic careers. Talk to us about how the program really made a difference in your life. Um, going back to, to what Jason just mentioned, part of the, the immersion, not only in the in the academics, um, my my experience was learning through the ecosystem and bird watching. I, I got to visit Central Park and uh, not only observe, but then being able to transcribe what I was experiencing. Um, that helped me a lot, not only in school, but after in my career, it's just being able to um, observe and, and to be able to communicate what I'm observing and what I'm feeling and, and being coherent about it. About it. So um, it, was, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. And Jason, for people who are watching right now saying, listen, this may be something I can get my, you know, myself being involved in. How can a student 
uh, be a part of the program? What's the criteria? Sure. So a student has to apply to one of the CUNY colleges and get a letter of acceptance, and they have to be designated that they're an ESL student. So if they're designated as ESL and they've been accepted to the college and they can enroll in one of the CLIP programs. And has it been tremendously hard talking about ESL and you've got this whole situation right now of COVID where we're having to pivot virtually and still trying to navigate virtually. How hard has it been for you, uh, given the fact that ESL can sometimes be one of the most challenging subjects, particularly for people who English is not their strength? Right, so one of the um, challenges that we faced this semester in particular is getting the Chromebooks and laptops out to them, but we were successful in doing that. Also, many of them did not know how to use the, the technology, so we had to also have a lab tech zoom in with them and go over how to use the devices. So although it's been a challenge, it's been students have been very enthusiastic and eager, and they've tried really hard to keep up with the coursework, and the lab techs have been very patient and um, supportive of the students. So it has worked with a few bumps, it has worked successfully. Uh, Luz, for what advice would you give the students who take part in this program? Uh, somebody who says, listen, you know, this sounds like something I want to be involved in. Uh, as one who's gone through it, what advice do you give them? Um, at the beginning of the process, college seems to be daunting, especially when language is a challenge. And I would say the program would actually ease you into the process of becoming a college student. Um, it could seem like you can't accomplish it or you can't go through. And I think the fact that you start with such a strong um, help um, and, and people like Jason and, and the teachers there to, to have your back and, and guide you through what you need to get into college, um, I think it's, it's the best uh, way to start because it, it, it actually helps you get through um, what, what the college experience is. Is the mm. beginning. Final thoughts. What would you say to somebody who wants to be a participant? And what do you say are the benefits of the CLIP program for them? Well, um, I've been here since 1996, wow. since the program started. It's a terrific program. I've worked with uh, very talented instructors who um, our students have come back and they even said that um, what we taught them in CLIP gave them a foundation for college and for graduate school because when they moved on, the instructors did not have time to spend with them as we do at CLIP. It's 25 contact hours, as we both mentioned before. So they get a lot of individual attention, they get a lot of help, and they learn how to do research, um, how to study, uh, they develop strategies to do well in school to the point that the uh, college professors come to our program and they recruit students from our program because they know that they know how to put a portfolio together they know how to study and they know how to be punctual and they're responsible and many of our students have gone on we have a student in medical school we at present we have a clip student who is now teaching in our program others have become policemen and um, i also want to say that some of our students even though english is not their first language they have graduated with honors from BCC. They have received scholarships to study uh, in Italy, India, and Puerto Rico. So uh, we give them a very good foundation and we give them opportunities that they may explore later, which many of them do. All righty. Well, Jason, we're going to leave it there. Liz, thank you so much for being with us. If you want more information on the CLIP program, BCC, dot CUNY dot edu. We are taking a quick break. And when we return, we've got more open coming up right after this.